if his anime is totally one thing, it's totally one thing only. It's the fact that people have really strong hands as anime. Because when the Hoizumi just jumped from the top area down to Kyosuke and high five, and I was like, in real life, that would freaking hurt. Like, you would literally almost have your arm hand broken. Because it's a lot of velocity going to your hand. And if your hand could take that much, I might be wrong. I ain't a scientist, but seriously, I was kind of like, Jesus Christ, that's kind of a bit. Oh. But yeah, so we've got the Saisei versus Hon Academy kind of match today. And it was an interesting match, even though basically it's predictably a Hon and actually won in the end. It's kind of like, okay, at least it's predictable, but still, it was entertaining. That was the main thing I got from this whole episode, the fact it was entertaining. Granted, the little kind of things in here, I was kind of like a bit, okay, then why is it only today they've shown this? Because it's the same thing with the whole backstory with Nana, T Takeru, and Riku. The fact they've actually known each other since, like, childhood, and the fact that originally... Takadu was kind of the person that um, was the kind of the weakest link, the kind of less stronger character. Not that Riku was basically, he said, look, you can get up, just carry on, just do what you need to do. It's kind of like, it was originally him originally him in the past, but now it's actually Riku. It's kind of like, okay, do you want to say, you want to bring that up now? Like, of all times in episode 11, you bring up the fact they know each other since, like, when they were child, children. And it also, the fact is that they've actually kind of had this idea that always they would go to the Holland Academy when they go to high school. It's kind of like, it's a bit late, guys. Like, episode 11. Granted, yeah, it gives us some kind of spiritual, and like, kind of encouragement to carry on. But, and then go forward. But still, it's just, like, out of freaking nowhere. It's kind of like, okay, so they've actually known each other since childhood. Like, they've always hinted at it. Like, it's always been hinted. I think episode 7 had it originally. Since they've always hinted the fact they've known each other, or there's been a past with them. But never really have elaborated on until right now. It's kind of like... Okay, so they've actually really always known each other. It's kind of like, okay, then that's kind of out of the ordinary, but I guess it's alright. It's just a bit out of nowhere. I like Saisei. Saisei's kind of my favourite team in the whole anime because they kind of have a nice sportsmanship about them. You can see they're not rivals. Honan and them are not rivals. They're friends. They're nice to each other. Yeah, they have like a kind of like sort of rivalry in the fact that they want, to, they want to win. They're the rivalry they want to win. But they're really nice about it. They're not just saying, look, you're going to lose, fam. You're going to get out of here and you're not going to win in the summer tournament. No, they're kind of like, do your best. I was kind of like, see, they're actually nice people. The fact is, you can actually see they're, they're actually fighting each other as kind of friends, not as enemies. Kind of like that. That's kind of the thing I actually like the most about this episode is that, is that reason. It wasn't really a stride match in the sense it wasn't like rival against rival. It was more of a stride match because friends. It's kind of like, See, it was nice. It was kind of nice in that regard. Still, the yeah, out place freaking, like, backstory was kind of out of nowhere. It's kind of like, okay. Uh, and I, nice to actually kind of elaborate on the fact that stuff they actually kind of originally hinted at. But episode 9 would have been the perfect time. Because then it would have given us time to kind of give that spiritual encouragement. But I kind of like the fact that Nanda's basically gave up almost on Riku entirely. He's saying, like, should I delay the start? Because he's basically giving up. He had no breath left in him. And, he's kind of, and then basically Tokyo goes, no, don't you freaking give up on him. Let him carry on. And... Yeah, he basically gets forward and goes towards uh, Darker. It's kind of like, see, it's even her. She kind of almost gave up on him, but basically just don't give up. It's the whole like, overarching theme. Don't give up. Just carry on. Be your own person. Go forward. Carry on. It's that kind of overarching like, idea. It's nice. They're kind of drumming into your own brain, but still, I don't know. And I always like how Ricky's basically now got complete over the stigma of what happened originally and kind of now going forward. like, he wants to race to Tomoe again. It's kind of like, see, even he can actually acknowledge the fact that he has, he's actually kind of progressed since where he was originally. But I don't know how his anime's ever going to end because his anime's going to end either really, really well, they're either going to win or they're going to lose. It's like one or two, or they're not going to fight. Or they're basically not going to have a stride match. It's one, it's, I think one of those endings. I'm not even too sure. I'm really scared how Madhouse will end this anime because Madhouse isn't the greatest when it comes to ending anime. It's like you've seen it. But I don't know. I kind of just, I like this, I like this episode in a lot, because it just, there was just certain points when Hoizumi basically was catched by Kiyosuke, it basically just told you, look, they've actually now got over the stigma they had originally, they've got over what they were originally, and they're basically friends, they're basically now closer than they were. I kind of like that, I thought it was one of those things you don't really pick up at first, but when you watch it again, it's kind of evident the fact they actually got over what happened originally and gone forward, basically now got over the previous, like, summer tournament they had. But yeah. So it's a pretty interesting episode if it was a little bit strange. But we've also been a driver. Even if we like, we do leave us up quite a bit. Leave us up. Do leave us up quite a bit. But we've also been a driver. And I'll see you later. Bye for now.